Hey y'all, welcome back to Hatch's Hooch. I'm Hatchet, this is Hooch. We're back at Big Matt's Club of Herman, and we have just been brought this great and wonderful bottle of Tin Cup. Matt, do you know anything about Tin Cup? What I read. Um, it's a blend of two American whiskeys, um, a high rye bourbon that's distilled and aged in Indiana, and it's blended with a small amount of Colorado single malt whiskey. Um, and then they're cut with Rocky Mountain water. So, now old Jess here, the uh, founder of Ten Cup Whiskey, he was a young man at 22 years old. He packed up his bags and moved to Colorado to try to find himself an inspiration. And uh, all the old gentlemen there in Colorado, the Cowboys, was drinking out of Ten Cups, and that's how he came up with the name for his uh, whiskey here. He found a love of distilling, and this is what he's came up with. I've never heard of Tin Cup, but I think I may have seen it at the liquor store a time or two, but never paid attention to it because I thought it was some kind of golfing uh, liquor or something. Golfing's cool, but I don't know. Uh, but Matthew's daddy said, his boss man said, this is the best bourbon out there. So when somebody says that, I'm pretty excited. Matt, what do you think? Yeah, I think we need to try it. Yeah, definitely. Now, uh, it's, it's a uh, what, octagon, hexagon bottle. Yeah. It's a six-sided six hexagon. hexagon bottle. It's, uh, it's got writing on every side, 10 cup. It's got an elevation in Colorado of 5,251 feet. I was in Colorado in February. We were at 10,000 feet in Steamboat. It's a beautiful state. Um, old Jess, he's the founder. That's all it says. Got a shot glass. Comes with a 10 cup. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's got a little logo in the bottom of it. wonder what it smells like, Matt. Pop it open. <clears throat> smells like whiskey. Whiskey. It doesn't, it doesn't smell too, too stout, too spicy. Hmm. No, it does not smell hardly any spicy at all. But it's got a lot of rye. It says it's a majority rye. Yeah. It's a forty-two percent alcohol, which is a what eighty-four proof. Yeah. That's that's um that's you know comparable with Jack Daniels and even the uh, North Carolina bourbon we tried. Um, the color on it looks pretty good. It's a good caramel. It's kind of light, but <clears throat> it doesn't say how long it's aged, does it? Oh, I didn't see that. I'm really looking at the same No, it just says it's aged in number three charred oak barrels. It doesn't say how long. Okay, so it's just a uh, Indiana, Colorado whiskey, huh? That's what it says. Uh, pretty interesting. Um, let's try it, man. Still hardly any smell to it whatsoever. I mean, there's a little bit of caramel. Yeah, it's not, not very strong. Maybe a butterscotch, vanilla. I smell some vanilla. Yeah. You know, and all that are the oak barrels. So uh, let's try it. Ooh, it's a little hot. It is a little hot. I wasn't expecting that. Not with the smell. Hmm. Let's try it with some ice in it. That's the good quality ice. Matt, you like a little more? You're uh, mostly all over here, bud. He's a big drinker. <laughs> Smell seemed to tint, uh, go down a little bit. It's, yeah. it's just slightly less stout. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Oh, that brought up the old vanilla man. and almost a little bit of citrus kind of yeah I can see that the vanilla is really coming through uh, seems like the caramel or butterscotch may have went away but yeah that citrus like an orange or tangerine something something might be at Rocky Mountain water might be man that's good I can dig it it's very smooth um with the, without the ice it had a little bit of burn with it but with the ice man it's really good what do you think uh, yeah 
How, what was the price on that? Uh, $30. $30 for a fifth. Um, that's not too bad. I think that the flavor's good. Um, I would I would buy this up with, uh, you know, I put it on, on the same levels as maybe a Jack Daniels or something. It's, it's a little bit different. Um, the flavors aren't quite the same. The, there's a lot of different, like the vanilla and the orange notes, you don't really get that in a Jack Daniels no, or, no, or anything no. like that. But um, I like it. It is very, it's different, but it's very good. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to compare it to, really. I mean, it's... Not that I've tried. Um, it's got a blended whiskey from Colorado that it's, it's made in Indiana, so maybe that's, that's some of the, the deal. But it's a high rye, and I don't taste the spice that you would normally get from a rye. No. It's, it's not there, but it's really good. Like, it's good drinking liquor. Very good. Yep. Hmm. Well... Um, it's definitely not a mixing liquor. It's one that's from drink straight. I mean, you can drink it like water, no problem whatsoever. Uh, maybe get you a tin cup. You think the tin cup maybe changes the flavor than the, the glass? Probably not. I wouldn't think so. Uh, Matt, do you recommend this? I would buy it. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Um, whenever the boss man says it's the best, it's got to be pretty good. Um... As far as, I, I like bourbons, and this is a whiskey. I'm not much on whiskey, but the bourbons really give it the flavors I like. But for a whiskey, this is really good. Like I said, Jack Daniels, it's, it's different, but it's better, I think. Mean, I like it. You know, for a, what, 84 proof? Not bad at all. All right, 10 cup. Good job, Jess. Thank you, sir. That's good stuff. All right, thank you for joining us on this episode of Hatchet's Hooch. Subscribe.